there is a um, thickening of that area just because he's bulking up and he's becoming a bigger male but actually there's no real dewlap just yet it'll be interesting though to see how his dewlap works and whether or not he does get a really big dewlap like Tingana so I think everybody was going around until our little boy jumped up into the tree now, I wonder if we're actually gonna be able to see anything from down here it's gonna be interesting that's for sure mm, where are you little guy oh there he is so he's sitting on the lowest branch now I can't see a carcass anywhere inside here there's obviously that stomach content that we saw and I wonder if those hyenas didn't just steal something from these leopards this morning and maybe that's where Tundi's gone is she went to try and protect the kill and unfortunately lost it and has now moved off maybe she's gone towards twin dams for a drink and she'll come back just now there you go you can sitting in the tree maybe there is another hyena on top because he's looking intently down and the only reason he would have gone up there is if he thought there was a threat or if there was food potentially in that area that he could go and get so you see he keeps looking up into the tree there we go you see he's looking trying to see if there isn't any sign Madison you say Tumba is the most photogenic cat in the bush well I'd have to agree with you Madison he is absolutely beautiful he's got this clean little face there's no scarring yet so he is as good as it gets that's for sure I wonder where he's going to go from there because it looks like he might go further up into the tree you see he keeps looking around and staring and he's getting ready you can see those feet are almost looking as though they're gonna pounce or are you going to come down again see sniffing around looking and look at those eyes he's got these beautiful green eyes there we go Are you going to settle down there? I wonder. I'm trying to scan this jackalberry as much as possible to see if there isn't anything, but I don't see any sign of a carcass. Like I say, I'm pretty sure whatever was here has either been moved and put somewhere else, or unfortunately has been stolen. And it would explain the presence of the hyenas in this area. And, you know, coming back down again. <laughs> he's quite a character this little boy he's all over the show oh, are you going to head away or are you going to come back down look he's you see he's looking in all the trees I think he knows that there was a carcass somewhere here but he's trying to find it he's trying to sniff around you can see sniffing a branch now I don't think so. he's going to have much luck though I think that carcass is long gone also maybe mom's scent mark there or another individual scent mark you can see how he's smelling along beautiful in the morning light every now and then you'll see he goes through that dappled light <sighs> come on rusty so rusty doesn't want to go into reverse there we go Michael, you're wondering how big Tamba is in comparison to Hosanna. Well, Michael, it's difficult to say because whenever you see them on their own, they both appear to be quite large. But at the end of the day, I think Tamba must be a similar size to Hosanna. I think Tamba's not that far off the size of Hosanna. His feet are definitely bigger and his tracks are definitely bigger. But the actual body size, I think, given that there's six months in between them, that's Hosanna and Tamba are about the same size. Now, are you going to come down for us? There he goes. You can see he's just moving on the edge there. Now, he looks like he might come back down this way. That is beautiful. I don't think he actually knows where he wants to go at this stage. He's just kind of meandering around, hoping for the best, hoping to find maybe mom or something to eat. I'm going to go back for you a little bit further. Oh, there he comes. Now, we're going to spend some more time with our beautiful boy. 
as he walks along the banks of the Mulawati. And while we do that, let's go back to James, who I believe has found a different species of cat in the Masamara.